It's Friday Crafternoons on the patio at Bo's Bar and Stage. Adam from Snake Lake Brewing is back. You bet, man. And uh, you guys are ready to go with another West Coast Pale. Now, actually, before we even get started into this beer, yeah. I've like we've done this a couple of times. <laughs> Once or twice. So I think I might have like a Snake Lake checklist. Okay. That we're just I want to check it all off before we get going. Deal. Okay. So this stone castle is gonna be juicy. <laughs> Little, actually, you know what? I'm gonna surprise you on that one. No, it's not it's oh. a West Coast style. So our New England stuff is very juicy. That's kind of our style. Like yeah. obviously Octavio is one of his wheelhouse beers. Um this is a little bit different. We we did this one differently just okay. to kind of bust so, out of our own bracket. And, uh Hazy, hazy in color? Slightly, yeah. It's, slightly a, it's a little less than like our, our IPA and even our Session Ale. Um, it's it's still a little bit hazy, but it's much more bright. Than, okay, so I'm giving a check house. to that one. Uh, and not going to punch you in the face. <laughs> well, that one, I you can check that one right away. Check. Okay. <laughs> it's going to have some, I, I'm, there's going to be some hoppiness to it, a little bitterness to it, but it's not going to punch you in the face. Yeah, with that, uh, that lower specific gravity, that finishing gravity, you definitely taste the hops a bit more. So you do taste the bitterness a bit more and that's the, that same west coast style right like that's it's, it's a little bit you're leaning off them um i want to say like more balanced but it's still a very balanced beer but it's it's just leaning towards that bitterness thing. so is that typically then that that'll be the biggest difference between a new england style and a west coast style is that the new england stuff is juicier typically yeah it's it's hazy it's juicy it's it's very balanced like the west coast is a lot of the time they're really bright beers they're they're a little more bitter on the palate um yeah you get those finishing flavors that last a little bit longer on them. And Stone Castle, what's the uh, name behind the, or the reason behind the so name? So Stone Castle, this is really cool. Um, a couple actually moved from South France to the area and um, got married. And so his, from where his bride was from, that's it, a house that was built to represent the home that she kind of came from in South France. It's, that was on a much grander scale, obviously, but yeah. it was actually built with uh, stones found around the lake and he floated stones from different shorelines on a deer skin raft. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, brought them actually to where the, the building site was and put together this house that was a stone castle. Yeah. And uh, just to kind of give her a feeling of familiarity of around the area. What a guy. Uh, I know, I wow. know. And puts, where is that? Puts me to shame. Right? <laughs> uh, and where is that site at? Whereabouts? Uh, I Actually, you know what? There's a, I'm not sure where the actual site is yeah. from the, the original stone castle but there is a, a historic building downtown that's still built um the castle basically it is a castle it's a small one dwelling castle okay well let's uh, dig into this so two check marks out of three ain't bad <laughs> come the on we can't have them all the same <laughs> no that's true uh west coast pale the stone castle from snake lake cheers cheers man